Hey y'all! Today I'm going to show you my first baby of this season. Now you may look at this mare and be like, that's not Cat, that's not Echo, that's not Sheikah, that's not Chexy. Uh, where did this horse come from? Well, let me tell you the story. I headed out from PA to Missouri. We ended up going to an auction, so it wasn't just me, it was me and my dad, in Missouri called Lolly Brothers. This is actually where I got Gideon, like three years ago. So we got there ahead of time, got to look around and spent some time just seeing where everything was. We specifically went to look at this group of brood mares because we knew they were going to be there and they were all pretty due. And I really like the Palomino, so I have a thing for Palominos. And she was really cute, but she did not look pregnant. So we sat and watched some of the horses go through like this really pretty, I think it was a two-year-old colt. But I ended up bidding on this mare. She went out of my price range. So... This is the one I got. Yes, I got a horse. Another one. Turns out she's a four and a half year old. She'll be five in August. Uh, she was already pregnant, so I knew she was due. And here we are up to date. This is literally one month after I bought her. I got the news that she had foaled. And I had, I had left her at the breeder's place. He had brought her in for me. And I just left her there because we knew she was close. And anyway, so I traveled up there that same day he was born. And this is my little guy. The breeder also had these other two. But my little guy is right here in the middle. There we go. It was a little cool that morning, so we had put a blanket on him. But he was just a little doll. Uh, when we walked up, he actually had a little sass on his face. When I went to pet him, he laid his ears back. But we went right ahead and um, did imprinting because I like to imprint my foals. And he was about 10 hours old, I think, when we went. But it was really amazing to see the change that came over him after we did it. So if you watch here in the next clip, this is before we imprinted him. If you watch him, he's just kind of hesitant. He wants to stay away from us. I was watching the mare because I didn't know how she would handle it and I didn't want to get in a fight with her or have her like smash me into any walls because I didn't know her enough. But she's a really sweet mare. She is started under saddle. So I'm looking forward to seeing where we get with these two. But there, you can see his little ears laid back. He was like, eh. And this is what he looked like after we were done imprinting. He fell asleep. And yeah, we had sprayed his um, umbilical cord just so that he doesn't get an infection or anything. That's why it's funny colored. He's just a little doll. Um, he did have a tight muscle, I think, is what we figured it would be. I don't know if you call it a contracted muscle or not. And that was making his one foot roll over a little bit. But he is now, what, four days old, five days old, something in that range. And he has full motion and range, and you wouldn't even know that he had that issue the first day. So he's coming through just fine. And so far, we are loving the mare. She's super sweet, easygoing, gentle, and I'm just super excited because she is already rideable. And of course, because we we're there at the breeders, there are other babies around, so we had to go watch them. This was a little filly. I think she was born like two days before him. I think she was two days old here. I'm, if I'm thinking correctly, she may be older than that. She looks older than that. But he was saying how she's just a little energetic ball. And he was trying to push her around a little bit. But since we were watching, she really didn't want to do anything. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? But she is cute. And she'll be turning Bay Roan as far as I know. Because I think he bred all of his mares to his Roan, which is Homozagus Roan. This will be a blue roan colt, and there he is. The stallion is on the left. Not the stallion to my colt there, but the stallion to those other babies. But this guy is actually the sire to my last two buckskin roan colts. Sully and Flintlock, if you guys remember them. This is the daddy. And he is gorgeous. And friendly. As you can see, you call him, and he just comes on over from eating. There are at least eight or nine more pregnant mares out there. And I was hoping there'd be more babies there when I got there. But anyway, yeah, that's what I went out to Missouri for, that mare. And that's what I got a month later. Was not disappointed 
not in the least. <laughs> so far, we're thinking he looks like a dun skin, a buckskin dun. And we'll see if he ends up staying that. But yeah, that is my first baby of the year.